So I'm going to help you talk about uh, the AI agents, uh, explain some functionalities that are live and upcoming. And finally, we also have uh, a spectrum to show you. So th since this is a specific uh, Zia webinar series, we have a spectrum prepared, which we internally use uh, to, you know, uh, see what are all the existing functionalities and what are all the upcoming functionalities. And so it will be helpful and exclusive for you guys. Right. So uh, without any further ado, uh, I'll go further into the session. So we you, you all know we split this series into three parts so in the first video we talked about how to predict and detect issues using the ai functionalities of zerbo desk so in the second video we saw the generative ai and the answer bot functionalities which many find very helpful so in today's video we are going to talk about the automations how the ai is going to be helpful inside the day-to-day -day automations that you're using right so the agent, uh, so sorry, the in the last session, we talked about how to detect the sentiment, tone and key topics of a ticket without even, you know, having the agent to read through the content from the customer. And we saw how to quickly summarize the tickets without having to read through each and every conversations or comments. And then we saw how to effectively use the writing and reply assistance of Zoho Desk. And we also saw the difference between uh, the Zia services and open AI integrations or services that you might have. And finally, we also talked about the AI bot uh, that uh, that was an uh, so that the AI bot that was that can be utilized both for customers and agents to answer their queries and concerns. So for today's agenda, we've got uh, four functionalities. I believe one is missing. Yeah. So we've got four functionalities. Uh, I'm going to talk about the Zia extract, Zia generate, email reply, and sentiment based workflows, and exclusively AI agents. So uh, for the Zia extract this is about extracting the content of either from ticket module or contact module or any custom module that you have and it will automatically um you know fill out the field inside the ticket for you without having to run through a custom function or a very complicated automation uh, let me show you how this will look like in life so all you have to do is create an automation. You know, this is a, a very usual process. You will be choosing an execution point either on ticket create or any particular field update. You can choose any criteria that you want. You can add or remove the criteria and you have to choose the Zia extract from the custom actions. So here uh, we are filling a field and then uh, we are filling out the value for it. So when we're going to test it inside the ticket, so the automation is saved. When we are going to test it inside the ticket, uh, I'm going to update uh, the custom field which I saved for the execution. So when I'm selecting the issue criteria, which is my uh, execution point, and I'm saving it, the phone field will be automatically saved. So this will not just be saved in the ticket, but also in the associated module that is contact. So this is about the field extraction. So this is, this is going to help you update one or more uh, fields with one or more modules with a single click, right? So the next functionality is, uh, sorry. So the next functionality is Zia generate. So it's exactly what you're thinking. This is going to help you generate a content and you can use it anywhere inside the ticket. So previously using the generative AI, we had this manually generate the content from inside the ticket, but now you can automatically do it with a few prompts inside the ticket. So let me show you how this works. So this also has to be um, embedded inside the automation. So I have an execution point, I have a field update. So uh, I'm choosing the ex generate from the same Z actions. So I'm clicking generate content. I have to choose where my content has to be placed and what is my prompt about. So I can, you know, gen help them uh, summary uh, summary of the uh, thread or I can ask it to you know generate me an apology email to send it to my customer or I can help uh, I mean I can ask help for it to show me the list of 
um, fields under the ticket properties that is uh, available inside the ticket. So it is going to help us do it as per the prompt that you've given. So you can see we are editing the field and updating the value. This will automatically add the prompt inside the particular uh, value that we've chosen. So I chose the content to be added as a private comment. So the content was added as a private comment with the data that I requested. The data I requested is a summary. So it generated me a summary. You can uh, give a prompt to get me the details of the uh, recent uh, fields, get me the details of the recent customers details. So you can uh, get to choose it whenever you want. So all you have to do is uh, choose an execution point so whenever it is updated uh, it is it doesn't just have to be a field update right you can just have a checkbox and whenever you enable that checkbox it will help you generate a prompt the best part is you can uh, create as much as prompts that you want so instead of you going to the ticket and getting the detail you can automatically use this prompt that will help you get the data for you um, so the next functionality is um, email reply. So ZI is going to help you reply to your customers. Uh, we know this is also one of the most avoided feature. So yeah, so the ZI email reply is, uh, go, is similar to the send email reply. So you have to choose the action from the ZI actions under the same workflow. And we've given it as a placeholders for now, right? So you can use the placeholder Zia answer and Zia article. So this is going to, um, you know, uh, whatever things that you will be generating in the reply assistant functionality using generate feature AI, uh, sorry, generative AI feature. So the answer will be stored inside the placeholder. So when you use this placeholder, this particular email will be automatically sent to your customer with the answer generated from Zia. So for now, we have given it as a placeholder, but we, we've had huge plans for the future. That is for you to moderate it initially and then send to the customer, which is still um, in the upcoming. But for now, you can uh, you know use this placeholders and uh, send automatically, let uh, the Zia answer to your customers instead of you uh, going, to the, uh, going to the ticket and reply to the initial emails. So we've got one more functionality here that is sentiment based workflows. So this sentiment based workflows is similar to the sentiment insight, right? So um, in the actions, you can use the sentiment based workflows. So based on the sentiment, it will help you update, uh, you know, fields uh, inside the ticket. You can either add a comment, you can change the priority to high or any other things when the particular sentiment is detected. Either you can call it a sentiment is negative or it's frustrated or it's good. So if it's good, you can, you know, send an alert to the admin about the customer's happiness. So, you know, the base level agents or the team who handle the ticket will be appreciable. Or if it's a negative, we can handle it vice versa. So this action particularly is going to help you um, automatically understand the customer sentiment by replying uh, i mean by going through the content of the ticket and it can help you perform actions inside the ticket so these are the um, automations that we have released in zia but this is the most interesting that is ai agent so you all know AI agent um, is gaining multiple feedback. So this AI agent is like an individual functionality, which you can use in Zoho Desk or Zoho CRM or any other Zoho applications. So we'll be seeing what are all the functionalities that it has for Zoho Desk uh, for now. And we'll also see a couple of upcoming functionalities. The first um, quality is support specialist. So all you have to do is create an AI agent and choose the prompt that it has to do. So for this support specialist, we have selected the prompts generative, auto reply and polite. So the AI will automatically follow the prompts that you're given and it will uh, perform the actions inside the ticket. So let me show you how this works. So this um, is a sample ticket. 
ticket that I'm opening. So this ticket, you can assign it to the support specialist agent uh, that you created with the prompts. So what it will do is it will follow the prompts and it will automatically generate the answer. It will generate it politely or you can say it is confident, positive, whatever prompts that you have given. So it will generate the content based on that and it will automatically reply to your customers. So this is the um, this is the functionality for the support specialist, but you can change the prompts however you want for it to reply to uh, your preference. So the second one is resolution expert. So this resolution expert is going to um, help you summarize things. So um, it can be um, summarization or synthesis. So this summarization, you can also change it based Based on the tone or uh, you know length, uh, similar to how the summarize functionality works. So, um, so this is a sample ticket which I am assigning to the sentiment agent. So I'm just changing the ticket owner to resolution expert. So since I asked you to ask this AI to summarize the content and paste it in the resolution, so it automatically summarized what is the issue that was discussed, what are the discussion that happened, what was the resolution given and the outcome, and this resolution was automatically added inside the ticket. So just imagine how much this would be helpful. So we already got many functionalities that transfers the resolution into an article of the knowledge base module right so with these automations i mean with automations like this uh, the continuous action that we're going to do is very simple so if any ticket is generated your agents might have given unique solutions that are not yet available inside your knowledge base articles so you this uh, these functionalities might automatically save the content in resolution and by that you can transfer the resolution into the knowledge base article which Zia can train and using that we can use the answer bot or field production functionalities right so for now we will not be reading the ticket content but just using the article content the answer bots are working so uh, the functionalities like this are going to help us uh, as a workaround while we St uh, still work on the native functionalities of reading through the tickets, right? So uh, we also have some more upcoming, you know, uh, functionalities that we will be using. So it's about the sentiment analyst and quality analyst. So the both these two are uh, like the AI agent is automatically going to detect the sentiment and it's similar to how we saw in automation. It will help us notify to the agents or update the tickets and everything. So when I talk about the sentiment analyst as an AI, it will not just see the keywords, but also the complete content of the tickets. So it will go through the tickets and when it detected the sentiment is negative or good, it will help you notify either to the admin or the ticket owner or, uh, uh, you know, the team who are handling this ticket. So for the quality analyst, it will evaluate the answers comparing to the knowledge base articles that you've published. And it will also, you can mention it to give the answers for, uh, I mean, the prompt for clarity and grammar. So whenever a grammatical mistakes are detected or the clarity is lacking, this quality analyst can automatically detect it and notify the ticket owner or the admin, or you can store this information somewhere and you can use this um, in the future for an audit purpose to your agents. So this sentiment analyst, uh, analyst and quality analyst are in the upcoming functionalities while we are uh, the support specialist and resolution expert or already live. So you can use these prompts to create AA agents. You can mix and match the prompts to uh, create AA agent as per your preference, and you can apply it inside the ticket. So it will automatically do the actions. So as you all know, AI agents is still in beta functionality. So we are enabling this in bulk, uh, in batches. So you can, um, I will ask Rexlen to share the beta form in the comment. So you can apply through that. So you might be facing a big delay since we are enabling this in batches. So once we enable it, you can, you will um, get the ZI agents with a complete instruction for you to use it in um, either Zoho Desk or Zoho CRM or Zoho Books or any of your favorite Zoho applications that you're using. So the AI spectrum that I wanted to show you is this. 
So this is the spectrum that we're working on, and you can see a star marked with a few upcoming features too. So in this series of um, videos, uh, the, call it a first part, second part, third part, these are all the functionalities that we discussed, right? We talked about uh, how the dashboards, how it can generate content, uh, how we can summarize, how we can analyze the sentiment, how to use the answer board, tags, uh, predictions, and etc. So we are working on a few more functionalities currently. So these are all available public upcoming functionalities. We are working on Zia Copilot. We are working on few more upcoming automations. So AI agents, which is already live, but we are already also working on few upcoming functionalities on that. Uh, apart from that, we are also working on thread article generation, you know, uh, for it to read through the content automatically and generate answers. And we are working on similar tickets and field intelligence. Um, so you will get to know about these functionalities in the future. So these are all the upcoming which we are working on. So if you are not already part of the community, uh, please follow the Zoho community. Uh, in Zoho desk, we'll be posting the announcement of the upcoming features, any enhancements of the AI uh, periodically. So if you follow it, you will get to know the recent and latest update of all these functionalities, right? So um, now you know, you know, if you just go through the videos of the all these three series, then you will be the expert of AI uh, in using it in Zoho Desk. So we have covered all the AI functionalities in uh, all these three series for you to, you know, for the admin to use it, for the agent to effectively use it, and also uh, the automatic, uh, the help the customer will be getting through the AI functionalities. So we are also working on the moderation feature, you know, in all of these functionalities, you might be, you know, wondering uh, how to use the AI directly for your customers. What if it gives the wrong information, etc. So we are working on something called moderation. So, you know, you can automatically uh, without use it without any fear because whatever the content it's generating the summary it's seeing so it will first display it to you in the private so once you moderate it it will send the email to the customer or it will update the field values you know you might be having automations configured in that so uh, if you want to get latest update on that uh, be active in the community you can share any of your feedbacks or questions there we'll be happy to uh, take your feedbacks work on it and uh, we'll be happy to hear your um, feedbacks and usages of the ai functionalities in so yes